And we're, we're underway. Brisbane versus Collingwood, side bottom. Gets the first disposal. High ball, and beautifully taken by Wellingham. He drives into the pocket, and there is Cloak. Straight into the frame, taking the mark. And we'll go back and shoot. With Cloakie, he gets off to a fly with a straight kick. He's going to be in for a big night. And he's been pretty accurate this year with 15 goals, 8, and that's a fine start. Senior player to be pushed off the ball in a marking contest and then allowed to just swing around and hit a player like that, you're not going to stop it. behind the play from this stop play. They just need to be able to pinch one oh, somehow, don't they? Win. The Lions. Playing with free kick. They'll play advantage here. No, oh, no, they won't. They don't know they're going to play advantage from Sinclair, didn't anyway? I'm amazed they didn't play Ben Hudson in this game. Uh, yeah, they rested yeah. him. If, if that's right, he might have an injury. They said rested. Oh, it's 50. That's catastrophic to give those away. 50 metre penalty when you're 65 metres out. Person. Let's Here have a look is. what's going on. He wants There's to get the swan. Now. He wants to get the swan. That, to me, Swanee shouldn't be allowed in that five-metre no. period yeah. either, in that area. That, that is the rule. I mean, the umpires are, uh, judging by the rules, that's correct. He should have been able to run around in range to get the swan, who's in that same area. You're asking for a rule change, aren't you? Well, Frank? just, it's, it. you can't defend it's the time that. to do it. Here's Wood. It is. <laughs> and it'll do. It's a goal. Collingwood would have got two on the board. Wellingham dug it out nicely, but there's a lot of traffic around here. Nice work from Clark to get it through. Side bottom, we know he can sniff out a goal from most places, and that is no exception. A barrier so the Lions can't get through. And we see in this forward half, there is a lot of numbers for the Pies. There's certainly Lions dropping back, but around the ball, there is more Collingwood players than the Lions, which is uh, a critical point at this end of the ground. Black with a clean-up operation, but he's the barrier again. Set up very well, Swan and a number of others. Didn't do any favours for his teammate. Wellingham oh, no, got won't. up and got Sinclair away, who runs in and kicks another one. That's four. He has improved. Look, I reckon he's a really good player because he's got genuine leg speed. Great contest here at ground level. And he's finished up, he's, you know, he's kicking a lot better than what he was. He's turning the ball over, trying to go too short. I think he's a penetrating player. When he gets the ball, he just he knows what's around him. He's a great goal assist or score assist, assist player too. So um, they're on top. They've got to get some control here. Play behind the ball I would go with. All right, side bottom. And again with the mining operation. Got it up for Buckley and Swan, who is everywhere at the moment. Well, he's standing forward to the contest by himself. You've got to change that matchup. Oh, falls beautifully into the waiting arms of Tyson Goldsack. Goldsack comes in. Oh, yeah. oh, that's perfect connection. There's a lot to like about the Pies tonight. To just one behind. Well, here we'll see Swan gets by himself uh, forward of this one. He just drifts through. Oh. It was Black that was drawn to the ball, and he just dry, uh, walks through to the uh, front of that stoppage, but had plenty of time. And that was probably a bit of a that's floater just over the top. Bad read. And uh, Dane Swan's on fire at the moment. He's got off to a flyer. Nine disposals. Time, unfortunately, lost his footing. And it hurt the other way now. With the sprinklers on here this morning. Kick goes wide to half. Oh, forward. that's 50. That was late. Oh, right in front of you, Pickers. What did you think? Yeah, a fraction late. Yeah, but, come, uh, oh. come on, Shuri. Well umpired. <laughs> it's Dane Swan again. Oh, the old one too from Swanee there, just to get the stats up. The slow telegraph one too as well. <laughs> that was a Tony Shaw special. Oh. And there was a number 22 involved too. And here's a Shaw. He comes through, he's been kicking goals of late. Oh. And there's another one, chalk it up. He's at 12 disposals. Sidebot is another one out of the middle of the ground. He's at 14. But to a dangerous spot. And he Shaw had pushed up the ground. And that's a fantastic snap. He was under pressure across his body. Really good finish, but... Uh, the quality of the ball that Dane Swan's getting at the moment is just cutting the, the Brisbane Lions to ribbons. Set up, boys, set up. <laughs> you know, Brian sorted out between them. Goes super short, but it's effective. Super. Seedsman, yeah, got it away. Very talented. Well. Back again to Pendlebury. As they build through half forward, Cloak pushing and just couldn't quite get there. Well done to Patful, but Swan, full of confidence now, charging on forward. Putting this Brisbane defence under all sorts of pressure. Sinclair finds a way to sneak in for another one. That's two.
Well, that's not the start that the Lions needed, that's for sure. And Sinclair again at the other end of the ground, a very potent. Good contest under the ball from Patful and uh, Cloak. The problem from the Lions' point of view is it got over the back. And then it was a, a, a real foot race between Swan and Reigns. But then Sinclair, it's about the fourth or fifth player in, just did the job. Nice bit of work. Optimistic handball from Hanley just to go in the corridor over the head. Oh, optimistic. That's, oh. that's putting it nicely. So it's back now to 33 points. This might be the new unpolished Andrew Cracker. In the, in the, you know, he's, he's not as polished because he can't take a mark above his yeah. head, but Sinclair, he's got speed, he'd like, he gets in the right spot, and hopefully he can keep finishing like that. Well, the reality is Collingwood, really, with all the injuries, they need to find one or two, don't yeah, they? Yeah, no doubt. And it seems like they have in Sinclair, and they've got this bloke. I have to find him and just got to keep him out there. Well, he's a star. Yeah. I mean, if you g yeah. give him a one on one contest, and that's why it was good effort in the last contest from Patful's point of view to nullify the, the contest, but uh, we know that he's the best contested marker in the game. Your uh, discussion at quarter time, it looks like Reigns has gone with Swan, so dropped off Pendlebury. <laughs> okay, now yeah, Pendlebury, we'll see what happens. Well, he's already been influential, hasn't he? And so is Cloak, who puts through his second. Game. Why Ben Hudson? If he was only rested, he needed to yeah. play this week up against Cameron uh, Wood because Billy Longer is only a young kid finding his way. Good and young kid, but yeah, yeah, trying to dominate Wood, certainly. Exactly, because Wood, you know, he's still finding his way probably to see if he's going to be in the best 22 at Collingwood. And when Jolly comes back, he's going to have to fight for that. And it's meant it's pretty starved their forwards, too. It's a lack of depth in the midfield that's a real worry, isn't it? Well, that, that is the worry moving forward. I mean, still their best midfielder is Simon Black. And, I mean, whether he's got a year or two left, I mean, he's certainly past his best, and uh, he should be able to drop down the, the pecking order a little bit. Buckley takes it out to the wing. Again, Wood providing an option for Portland going forward. Didax deep in the goal square. Cloak not out there at the moment. His Keefe is up, and he takes it. Gee, I like the look at this group. Keever, taking on someone about a foot and a half shorter than him. <laughs> Jared Blair. I, th I think uh, with Reed being out a bit earlier in the year, it was a making of him as a good defender. Oh, too. Yeah. He could play anywhere. He could go on the ruck. He said he played in the ruck early days when he came down from Queensland. Yeah. But he just he played against players about uh, 15 kilos heavier. Spent a uh, couple of Enormous years on, talent. The, on the rookie list and uh, yeah, played all games so far this year. 204 centimetres. He's a monstrous oh. man. Well, they've actually got, got too many of these guys, haven't they? I mean, it's a great luxury to have for the Pies to try and have to squeeze them in. He'll need to be able to do that. And he certainly can. It's a big goal for the Pies. In the team when they've got depth through the midfield, but also the likes of uh, Lockie Keefe coming in and playing key post defence and being able to go forward. And he really stretches any defence at, at that sort of height. And if you can take an overhead mark. And once again, he's probably similar to... Daniel Merritt, when he's confident playing down back, he can go forward and pinch hit, and that's a very nice mark and finish. So this is probably as impressive as Wellingham holding things up for them for the moment. What Brisbane have been able to do since quarter time is really stop the runoff half yeah, back. The chain. Sure. Feeding cloak. Matty Moon that one, Matt McGuire. But yeah, this is the, the link-up football. They haven't been anywhere near as fast or clean. It's Swan on short here. Yeah, and he dabs it to him perfectly. Uh, so Dane Swan, you can see his amount of foot he's had. 18 touches. That looks pretty sweet off the boot. A timely one for the Pies. Yeah, nice move, Shorey and uh, Nathan Buckley, just to isolate Dane Swan. And a better build-up, but uh, they've really struggled to find space. And we see there wasn't too much room around the ball carrier, but uh, Swan had the room in the forward 50, and just a really nice little pass in front of Swan. It just led beautifully into the space. And we know he can kick the ball a long way. And nice little conversion from 50 metres. And that has got him back into the game. few telling... Things are just too soft, and they might pay the price here. Oh, they yeah. break storming through the middle. Penelope had a little glance over the shoulder, Swan. and then a look ahead to Dane Swan. Yeah. Now it comes back to Tom Rockley. It does. It comes this to extend the margin to 43 points. Dane Swan, not a problem at all. 
Brisbane have worked pretty hard, but a free kick and the overlap. That's where the overlap just everyone, every player was setting up for a stoppage, and the Collingwood players spread from the stoppage much quicker, allowed Penderbury to have a just metres in the clear in front of him, and just had too much time to give a really nice little pass to Swan, and that's two goals now, and he's just starting to get back into gear. It's 20 disposals. Minutes ago. Brisbane are coming. Side bottom though into the 50. Pies would love to answer swiftly. Didak kept it on the ground. Gets it back. Welcome back, Alan Didak. He's back and he loves it. The tongue was out. And the goal is on the board. To meet him, but uh, he misfired on the first two occasions with two behinds. But uh, really nice. He's dangerous when given a little bit of space. Didn't have a lot in this situation, but once again, forwards getting to the front of the big forwards on that time on that occasion was uh, Keith got the ball back up. Good snap. I reckon he would have been a great soccer player, Alan Didak. Oh, yeah. yeah, into the middle. Possessing it a lot, O'Brien, bounding, full stride, Wellingham, okay. Brown will do his best, but he can't stop that. Well, that was good transition, that was a quick ball yeah, movement, they exactly. didn't overpossess the ball, and I mean, you really need to give some uh, credit to the Brisbane Lions to stop that run and put pressure on. So he'd be happy with that. So a couple of deep breaths there from Wellingham, he knows it's a big kick, just to keep them at bay, and he struck it nicely, calling it back out beyond five goals. And possibly to safety, but there is still time for the Brisbane Lions. Is the uh, the role that Harry O'Brien performs really well. Nick Maxwell is a similar role. Depends who gets the the loose man job, and he just ran to link up. Really good work and used the ball very well. Identified the spare player, and then hit him with it. Gets it up to the wing, almost for Banfield. And again, this Collingwood half back line. So proficient. Gee, that was well done from Heath Shaw. Just to knock the ball to hit the club's advantage. Swan. McGrath was just working on the edges there of what would constitute a 50. Swan spies side bottom. Gets himself into a dangerous spot. He's been great. He's kicking efficiency 93% out of 33 di disposal. So, signs for Colling. He's on the runway now. And the footy is on its way for a goal. Uh, he's had a very good game, 34 disposals, two goals, and uh, he's just been uh, a real workhorse out on the wing through the midfield, and uh, he works very hard, and uh, fi just finds positions where he can be used, and he did again. So we've seen, it seems like in the competition we've seen Geelong come back a little bit, that's, that's mm. form at the moment, other teams who have looked good, like Sydney, have dropped a couple. Look, I, I, like I said, if it's a competition for that spot, um, I think it's only all as well for Collingwood in the club. Here's Big Wood comes in and slams it through for another one. Line up, Cameron Wood, uh, the former Brisbane Lions player. But uh, nice little snap around the body, just lurking off the back of the pack there. Might have been a massive falcon from the Billy Longer kick. But, uh, yeah, nice snap around the body. But uh, he wants to make the most of every minute he gets out there in a AFL senior football. Uh, they're in the middle of a real rebuild at the moment. and uh, It's hard to rebuild at the moment, though, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's the worst, worst time to be a bottom team. Yeah, I think that's that's showing in the, in the competition at the moment, at the bottom end. Yeah, it's terrific to look at. They're running over the top of them now. Keith takes the mark. Here's the youngster. He uh, went to school here in uh, at Morris Brothers Ashgrove mm -hmm. in, uh, in Brisbane. The other, other, oh, here he hands up, handballs off. Long bomb from Goldsack. That looks pretty strong and pretty straight as well. So they're racking them up now, the Pies. Fair school, that one from Lockie Keith uh, that he attended at Marist. Uh, Matty Hayden and John Eels, former Wallabies captain, obviously Australian opening batsman. Hard to compete with that, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah. You don't, your name's not in the gold emboss at the top of the list. He's sort of well down, but uh, he's making a real fist of AFL football after not playing much as a junior at all. Into the middle, farmed off the by Reed, Well read from Reed. just dropped off Brown and pushed over to the contest. To O'Brien and Yagmore now. 
The release to the top of the square, Swan and up and over the top is Goldsack, who finds himself as a, as a forward at the moment in the scheme of things. Add to his, uh, his two goals from last week. And he squeezed that one through. More smiles for the Pies with eight seconds remaining. They lead by 58 points. I think he might have even on Anzac, they had the role on Dustin Fletcher yeah. going back there a bit. So, it, look, he's got enormous athleticism. He's super quick when he gets in the space. Yeah. He's kicking and letting down. But I think he's matured. He's uh, I'm pretty sure he's in the leadership group at Collingwood now. Yeah, that's a, so well, that's that's a, a great effort if he's doing that. And it's a really good uh, mark. Up forward. Liam Pickering is out and about, and I think he's found himself still side bottom somewhere down there, Liam. I have uh, still great effort tonight. Uh, career high disposals for you as well, 35 touches. Seem to be really enjoying the midfield role. Yeah, well, I suppose it's um, you know, given me an opportunity to go through there a little bit more with you know the injuries that we've had, and um, not only me, but you know Beans and Blair, and I think you know we've um, you know keep taking steps, and um, you know it's putting us in good setup. It, it certainly is. You know what you're going to get out of Swan, you know what you're going to get out of Pendlebury, but. Is that what Bucks is looking for, a bit more midfield depth with the likes of you and Bones? Well, I think, it, you know, the more people go through there, it's only going to help us, you know, in the long run. So, um, you know, if we can keep going through there and um, doing our bit for the team, then, you know, we'll be doing all right. I mean. And your back line held up really well off half-back. A lot of uh, rebound from the likes of Shaw and O'Brien tonight. So it's good to get that bit of a run, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And I think, you know, we spoke about it um, during the week that I suppose it starts with the mids, but then the backs as well. And um, I think it... Was, you know, a uh, good group performance by the forwards as well, and you know, um, the short scoreboard showed it. In, yeah. I try and get Dids for an interview, but uh, good to see him back on the side. It is, it's awesome, Dids. Um, you know, just to get him back, he's obviously you know been doing everything he can to get back, and you know to finally get back, it's good. Well played, mate. No, seriously.